you're watching Big Lou Barbecue and other things I want to do. And today, I just want to say thank you to Gregor for more oysters. Yeah, but this time they didn't come from Island Creek. Yeah, I got Island Creek, uh, you know, a week or so ago, I got uh, Island Creek oysters, 50 of them on a Tuesday and then 50 more on a Thursday. I shucked them all on a Saturday, all 100 of them. I made some oyster stew and I made some oyster dressing. It was the week before um, Thanksgiving and... Um, Boy, I tell you what, we ate some raw too. We just love the oysters. And then we went and visited family for Thanksgiving. And the Friday after Thanksgiving, my mom took us out to a dinner and we went to a seafood restaurant and my son ordered fried oysters and my mom ordered shrimp and fried oysters. And uh, they either one of them could eat all of them. So I had two or three off their plate there. I had a whole flounder because, you know, I'd had plenty of oysters. Anyway, we come home and there's a box of oysters, but not from Island Creek this time. This time it is from FultonFishMarket.com comes in a box looks like this all right and uh, I got plenty of oysters in here I think there's four dozen plus all the packing material and everything to keep them cold really did a good job there's also two bottles of hot sauce this um Dee Dee's Cajun uh hot sauce I hadn't tried this brand but if y'all know I am a huge fan of Louisiana style uh hot sauces the Tabascos the crystals and everything that goes along with it um Louisiana Gold's a favorite of mine lots of brands I like the thin um, Louisiana style hot sauce. I guess that's because I'm from Louisiana, but you know, hot sauce goes on everything, everything. Can't eat eggs without the stuff. It goes on, you know, everything, sometimes even ice cream. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's how much I like Louisiana style hot sauce. So I can't wait to get into these. I haven't tried these yet. Um, where are these from, by the way? Um, Dee Dee's Hot Cajun style hot sauce. Uh, We've made it easy to bring the taste of Louisiana home to your kitchen, wherever that may be. This is the most versatile hot sauce you uh, need for the table and kitchens. A tasty vinegary bite adds extra flavor. Say magnifique. That's French for, uh, you see that right there? Say magnifique. That's French for, it's magnificent. All right, yeah, that's what that is. In case you don't, you can't read French. Recognize cognates and stuff like that. Yeah, you know what a cognate is. All right, where is this made? Denver, Colorado? What? Davies and Louisiana hot sauce. Style, Louisiana style hot sauce. Great on food for a southern accent. From Denver, Colorado. All right, hey. Fulton Fish Market. Fulton Fish Market is in New York City. New York City? Yep, got oysters from New York City. Let me open this box up and show you what kind of oysters we got. All right, I got the old shucking equipment out. All right, and this is what the uh, Canadian ones look like. These were cleaner than the Pacific ones. Um, they've got those smooth lines on it like that. And, uh, you know, the Gulf oysters are white, big and white with some gray areas on it. I've seen these um, New England oysters, now these Pacific oysters, these Canadian oysters. And they're, they're all, you know, browns and grays and things. There's a little gray on the, and a little blue on the Gulf oysters that I'm used to. Um, it kind of looks a little crazy, but you know, hey, I'm going to eat what's inside of it. I surely am. Yes, indeedy. All right. Let me crack open a Canadian so you, so you can see what it was like. You go under the hinge right here, which is real easy to get to on these. Wow. If you saw my last video... It was real hard to get to the hinge. Crack open the hinge. These are still really, really cold, even though they were delivered a couple days ago. All right, look at that. Oh gosh, that's a big oyster. Mm. Now that is bigger than those New England. Cut the foot away like that. Yes, indeedy. Still smell, smells good. Look at that. Don't you want to just slurp that down? Oh, it's going to be good. All right, let's open one of these um, Pacific ones. All right, I'm gonna open this one right here, okay? And, um, Easy to get into the hinge there. Cut it back. I don't like the looks of that one. Let's open this Pacific one right here. Go right in through the hinge here. I don't like that knife. I like the smaller knife. Go, crack it open like that. Oops. And the shell broke on me. Dead nabbit. The shell's not supposed to break. All right, I had to look it up. I've never seen the oysters with this black stuff on it before, but I looked it up and these kind of oysters do have this black. I was starting to worry. I said, what is that? I've never, the Gulf oysters don't have it. You can see these Canadian oysters don't have that black, 
but these Pacific oysters do. And uh, so it's supposed to be there. So uh, I'm not as worried about it now as I was a minute ago. I just learned something. All right, so they, they have the black on them. So, hey, uh, let me crack one open for you on camera here because I turned the camera off because I didn't know what they were, if they were live or dead, to be honest. But I researched it and found out it's supposed to be there. Oh, you can go in that hinge real easy on these, man. All right, so just come through there like that. These are sharp. Yeah, see, it's supposed to, they all have that. And that one's certainly a live oyster. Yes, indeedy. So, all right, cut it loose and um, I'm gonna eat a couple. All right, my son tried both of the oysters. Uh, and the one with the black ring, y'all, you might have saw that I edited it. Because when I opened the first one up, I saw that black ring. I'd never seen that before on an oyster. It's a Pacific oyster, and I'm not from the Pacific. I'm from the Gulf South. And I've had some experience with these New England oysters that Gregor's been sending me for the past few years. I'd never seen that black stuff on there. I said, son, look this up. And he Googled it, and they all had that black ring there. He said, it's supposed to be there. And so, okay. Um, so... I took the others, they're, they're still good. I'll put them in a the strainer over there and I've got two here to eat, okay? So anyway, um, he tried them and he said the Pacific Oyster, he said it's not the best raw oyster he's ever had. He says it's got a little fishy taste to it. It's not bad. He said just, it's not the best oyster. And uh, then he tried the Canadian one. He says, no, nah, that's good. That's what a raw oyster is supposed to taste like. So I don't know. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat this Canadian one first, okay? And if you remember my raw oyster video from a week or so ago, I used fondue forks. I said I didn't want to get out my little oyster forks, but I got my little oyster fork. Look at that, look at that, look at that. My little bitty, tiny oyster fork. All right, so here we go. I always get grit when I eat one on camera. Hang up. Mm. That's good. Real salty, real, real salty. Wow. Some salt taste to it. Mm -hmm. mm. All right. All right, let's try this black one right here. With those black rings on it. Gosh, I keep getting a grip. You know what? I'm not going to eat another one of those raw. Uh -uh. Real fishy, like, like eating the caviar. Like, um, it's not, not, rancid or anything just no that that one's not my favorite that's probably the first raw oyster i've ever eaten that i don't really like i'm not going to eat another one of those even with the hot sauce i'm not going to eat another one of those raw i am going to cook them but i'm not going to eat them raw strong wow all right um let's eat this one the canadian one let's put some of this cajun hot sauce on it I have to say, uh, Gregor, I, I'm, the Pacific ones, I don't, those, those aren't my thing. Uh-uh. I like the Canadian ones raw. Yeah. And it's good. I mean, it's still alive, you know. I can tell they're clothes. They sound, you know. oh, by the way, this hot sauce has red pepper, salt, and vinegar like a Louisiana hot sauce has to have. But guess what the red peppers are? They're not cayenne. And they're not Tabasco. Generally, Louisiana hot sauces have cayenne or Tabasco. Mexican and Cuban hot sauces, you know, hence the name habanero. Or habanero in Spanish. Habanero. You know, Havana, you know, from Havana. Habanero pepper. This has habanero pepper, so uh, it's probably going to be a really strong hot sauce. I'm doing it with the Canadian one. I'm not going to eat another one of the Pacific ones raw. That's good hot sauce, but it is made with habaneros. Habaneros in Spanish. I like to say habanero. Not pronounce the H, you know. Abanero. Abanero. Yeah, you don't roll the R. Anyway, Abanero. Um, good hot sauce. Good oyster, the Canadian ones. Um, yeah. The ones with the black. Eh. Just strong. Just it didn't have a it has a strong seafood taste, but it's not a not a smooth oyster taste. Not my, not my favorite, the Pacific one. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue, and uh, I'm going to make some oyster stew with this stuff. If you want to see how I made oyster stew, I made a video on it last week. I'll leave that link down below, and it'll be in the iCard right about there. All right? Thanks for watching Big Lou Barbecue.